girls. Are you doing something to inspire the world today? <laughs> Goodbye, mother. Your lipstick is blinding me. I love my lipstick. It's MAC. My mom shows up and I'm like, okay, I didn't know it was a family reunion. Girls, I've you know what you need to do? You need to help me get Peggy downstairs. You can just carry it. Hello. I, I carry it. Literally, you're just Mommy, carrying air. Stop. What the heck? You're no. You're wearing too much makeup for the ocean. Venice. <laughs> you say this to me all the time. <laughs> Venice. My girls, they love expressing their feelings. You know, they're not the type that's going to be like, okay, mom, we'll listen. You know, they kind of take after me a little bit that they really want to share with me what they really feel. Girls, honestly, stand up before I confiscate your devices and you'll be very depressed in the island. Get up and help me bring Peggy downstairs. Then my mom started threatening me about my phone and I'm like, whoa, hold up. I have no other choice but to use my phone, mother. I'm not saying that I don't like hanging out with my mom. It's just that what she finds fun isn't very fun for us. Who is going to go down and catch it? You. Me? Yeah. No. It's Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. you girls it's catch technically it. Mother's Day tomorrow. Okay, wait, don't throw it. Wait for me. They wanted to bring Peggy down the proper way, and I said, listen, she's not going to get hurt if we just throw her into the pool, right? Am I really going to catch it? it? <laughs> oh my gosh! Poor Peggy! <laughs> Mom, you're trying to catch it! Sarah, look! You didn't even What's try that? to catch it. She didn't even catch it and just let it go into the grass. Hold, hold, hold! Mommy, you're gonna break Peggy! Okay, let's bring it to the pool. Come, help see the roof up. Okay! Okay, yay! See? Would you play my two-year-olds? He's four. I just saw the jet skis out in the ocean and they were calling to me. Have you done you it before? Sandals. Come here, you stand up. Oh I've seen before. With, with who? With like you! Come, no. come here. I've only jet skied once before and that was with like an adult supervisor who was actually controlling the jet ski. I decided I want to ride the jet ski by myself. I mean, how hard can it be? The operator's very nice, but we would like to do it by ourselves. But do you know how to? Nope. That's why it's called learning. Why did you yeah, but Venice, time? what if something happens to you? What, what's, what's your mom oh, gonna tell me? Salbabeda, Salbabeda. Just oh make us wear life vests. Alright. You have to have somebody. I'm not, if there's someone, I'm not gonna jet ski now. Well, I'll ask your mom. No! no! Sorry. No. That's the only way. So I didn't want to ride with someone else, possibly a stranger. But Tita Elvis had to make a big deal out of it, calling mommy. I can't let you go there and then something happens to you. Okay? Sorry, guys. I am expecting the no already. When I told them that I needed to call their mom, they kind of reacted negatively. My mom's going to say no if she even like comes across the idea of us doing something remotely dangerous on our own. Ate. Um, ito si Lorene saka si Venice, they want to ride the jet ski alone. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna allow them? They wanna ride the jet ski alone? Without a supervisor though. Are we gonna allow them? I just thought, what's the point of jet skiing? She would say no anyways. A life vest. A life vest. Yeah. But if we wear life vests and they teach well, us and they watch enough. over us, then can we do it alone without having to cling on to a stranger? No, maybe after they teach you and then you're good at it now. Yeah. Ne yeah. Then you you can do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what exactly. I'm saying. Oh, see, okay. No, they have it here. Oh, perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. See. Okay, bye. Bye. But when my sister said yes. Victory. Finally, something she said yes to. Oh, Why are you wiping your hands with the rain's dress? They didn't call the people dress. Dress. Oh, sorry. Please. <laughs> you call them now, go. Bossing, You bossing. call them. While you call them, Venice and I will start our photo shoot. Oh, okay. <sighs> Touch the wall! Mommy, stop! I'm gonna throw your phone in the ocean! I'm gonna throw your hey, phone! Hey, Go! She expected for me to go very easy on her. But no, I will go Arnold on her. I will go to Raymond's trainer on her. What happened? I don't know, like, she just like, does it out of nowhere. And then like, sometimes she'll talk before it happens. Were you sleeping? 
Um, this one time I was getting ready for school, it was like 6 a.m. And she was like, wait, I need to do something. And then she just started like stumbling out of the bed and just like happened. Stumbling? I was like, like how? Like w weirdly walking. And I was like, um. She was walking? Yeah, I was like, uh, okay. And she like fell like onto the TV. And I was like, um, it's so weird. I've witnessed my mom having seizures. Oh my God. Come on, come on. That was the hardest workout ever. My biggest fear was that I wouldn't have a mother anymore. My biggest... My biggest fear was that I wouldn't have a mother anymore and I didn't want that to happen at all because she's my mom and I love her so much. She means everything to me, and without her, I wouldn't be here. Mommy, two minutes and 40 seconds. Okay. Seeing my mom getting back into fitness, it makes me very happy that she's active again and she's perfectly fine, and the seizures have stopped for the past three months, and I hope it will never happen again. I hope that was the last seizure that I would ever experience and that which she would ever experience. I'm proud of you, Mommy, but next time, be very serious about this if you want to lose weight. Wow, thank you, yeah. Coach. Sometimes you have to take risks to get that perfect shot. Oh my god! Wait, I want to take a video! Oh my god. In the second destination, suddenly everyone didn't want to swim and I jumped into the water thinking other people would surround me, but nope, I was in the middle of the ocean, alone. I didn't say photo, I said video! I took a video. You didn't take a video of me? Why did you jump right away? We're still up. Go up again, go up again. You are also kakaloka. Thanks so thank you. The good news is we're seven weeks pregnant. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. No. Zion will have a shut sibling. Up. Shut, shut up. Yeah. Shut up. No way. This family is growing shut by up. the week. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you can shut up. You're not happy. <laughs> is she what? <laughs> what? No, stop it. Good. When are you uh, moving to your new house? Well, Lala, it depends on you actually. Because <laughs> I heard that you bought Lorreen furniture. She bought Lorreen furniture, what, everything. What kind of furniture? Beds, tables. She bought her a desk. Baby, there's lots of uh, you know things in the storage. You have to use that Lorreen. Oh, uh, they are okay. 25 years old. No. Lala wants me to get stuff from the storage, specifically Tita Alice's old bed. You don't have a bed? No, L Lala doesn't want... storage nga eh, tatlong na yung doon eh. It's Tita Alice's, he had that when he was seven. I don't want to sleep on that bed. I don't even know who's been on it. No budget for new furniture, okay? No budget for me, but your budget for Lorene. Lola, you called me and you're like, I'm here shopping with Lorene for furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Don't act like you didn't say that, Lala. Lala has favorites, and she's very open about them. And me and David are the least favorite. Okay, I'll, I'll check, okay, ladies? I'll check. How will you check? Hello, girls. Speaking Hello, Mommy. Hello! Can you stop? Ow, can you stop? Ow, mommy, ow, what the mommy, frick is wrong with you? <laughs> mommy, my legs. Oh, my baby, I come. Sweetie, it's fine. It really hurts. <laughs> that is Aww, going to so hurt. Venice and I were just chilling on the bed, doing our own thing when mommy <laughs> jumps, physically jumps onto the bed and almost crushes Venice, causing Venice to have a mental breakdown. Venice, mommy, what does that you're mean? not 30 pounds. <laughs> I'm that, 28 that pounds. That really, really hurts, mommy. Your whole. Uh, don't baby. stop acting like you're 12, mommy. Oh my little uh, cutie. Okay, okay, sit up, sit mommy. up, Lorene. I have some, I have some news. I can listen to news while. No, no, no. Come you're on, seriously. Mommy, this like... is a very serious conversation. 
can you tell us this after you jump into the bed? When mommy said, I want to talk to you about something important, I first thought, oh my God, what did I do? No, I received an email from your school talking about sex education. Mommy! In a talk with me and Lorene about sex ed. Dude, I learned about this in fifth grade. You don't have to tell me everything. No way. I no haven't learned. What grade are you in? I'm going... You don't even know the grade. I was going to become high school. I'm entering high school in three okay. weeks. Lorene, I didn't know that you learned things. Yes, you did. You went you to a meeting about it. it because you were so shook. Like, what? My daughter? So you went and had a I meeting. With no, I remember the video that they showed I you wasn't in school. was very graphic. And I almost pulled you out of school. My two cute, innocent Yeah, children. well, you don't have to talk to me about sex ed. I already learned about that. Did Why are you really saying the word? Lorene, you, you just said the word. <laughs> Mommy, what the him. frick is wrong with you? You, you, you just said it. And, you're and they were like, oh my god, Mommy, we don't want to hear this conversation. You know, they were just freaking out. I could not sit them down and have a proper conversation with them. You know, first of all, <laughs> we have some rules. You're not going to have a boyfriend until you're 30. Mm. I think right now that's the proper age. Mommy's no, but Number that's two, really sad. I want to have a nice life, mommy. You promised. I want to get take married at twenty-eight me. or like thirty. Honestly, I don't even care. Guys don't like me. Venice, no. You need to finish college. I am gonna finish college. Okay, okay. Listen. So that's number one. Number two, you girls need to go start seeing the gynecologist. I was. I knew it. I knew it. I, I knew it. I knew it. So I'm gonna walk out of the room. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually gonna walk out. You will tell me if ever you have a crush. Do you have a crush? No. Except for Harry Styles. That I approve. There's not just Harry And also Styles. the one that has a lot of awards in your school. What's his name? Okay. Mom, no! What? Who's the one with the lots of awards? Like he can Honestly, Mommy has no right to say who I should or should not date, especially when she's telling me to date specific people. Like, no. No. Just no. Never in a million years. Oh my gosh, it's disturbing. I was so disturbed. I want you to like God-fearing individuals that have <laughs> a lot of awards. Yes, in school, that means they're very studious. <laughs> the ones that will bring out the best in you. The ones I'm that will red. guide you <laughs> to the right way. Boys that are like me. You're a girl. Yeah, boys that are like me who have like so boys dreams, who be girls. girls. And as long as they know how to respect me. They need to and go us, through. Mommy. Yeah, they need to go through me first. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be worse than Lola. I think I'm if you do, mommy, single. I'm gonna I'm gonna move to Scotland. Mommy wanted a pact that we will not touch anyone by the age of thirty. Not have a boyfriend until thirty. You had a boyfriend when you were thirteen. Just know that you come from a showbiz family, and you girls have to really be careful. So one, no boyfriend till you're thirty. Two. Let me know everything. I'm your mother, and I'm your best friend, I'm your sister, I'm your godmother, I'm your grandmother, not my I'm everything. So I want to know everything first. That's really right? scary. Okay, number three, don't talk. Read the Bible. The Bible says no hanky-panky before marriage, okay? So Did you, you just tell me when you were pregnant? You got married while you were pregnant with me. What? I just made them promise me one thing, that they will not engage in premarital sex before marriage. Are you listening, girls? Finally, we have the conversation. Mommy, that was but the worst I had the conversation I've ever had. when I was eight. And mommy, eight? you didn't teach us yeah. anything. You just set rules. Okay, should I get the book? No way. It takes guts to be a Gutierrez. Only on E.